what's going on? It's Mibber back. Just doing it old school style. Just showing vinyl tonight. That's it. It's a beautiful night. I'm out at the graveyard. Yes, I have my very own graveyard. Okay. And uh, it's such a beautiful night. I got a fire going. I got the tiki torches lit. I got vinyl to show. I got some libations to libate. I got my safety glasses on because I'm all about eye safety. You know, this fire is popping over here. You never know if an ember is going to come and hit you right in the fucking eyeball. So what I'm going to do, y'all, is get down to it. I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, what I'm going to do is just get the party started by showing a little VCLT. Yeah, that's Vinyl Community Love Train for those y'all that don't know. So now you know. That means where people send out vinyl out of the kindness of their own heart because they're cool as fuck and uh, they want to share the music that they love and that they know and they just want to put it out there for others to enjoy. Well, I was blessed to get a couple pieces of VCLT lately and I'm about to break them open. So uh, here we go. All right, first one I'm going to show is from Tim. Tim is uh, YouTube's name, Go Surf H2O. Tim's a great dude. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot of videos, but his videos are chock full of quality, uh, goodness, and usually it's 90s great albums. He sent me this one, and how aptly titled, Brush Fire Records. And I'm going to be toying with this glare tonight, so deal with it. And uh, this is like a, a like a compilation of some really good tunes that would actually go good in this vibe right now. Um, we have uh, Zach Gill, G Love Special Sauce, Money Mark, Matt Costa, Jack Johnson. It gives you that kind of beachy, kind of summery vibe. So Tim, thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. And uh, looking forward to your next video, man. Uh, the next guy that sent me a, a VCLT is one of uh, the VC's greatest. And that's Vance. Now, you know when you get the VCLT in the blue, it's from VK, VK Lounge, the Pearl. Now, um, oh, shit, I forgot to, oh, man, I don't have a, uh, something to cut this open. Uh, oh, hold on a second, I got something. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. This will work. I hope you packed it really well. Come on. This is going to test your packing job, BK. Here we go. Ready? This is the first in the VC. I'm going to test your packing job, man. You don't need no razors here. You don't need no knives. That's how we do it, Mibber style. By the fire. All right, so now. Yeah. Yep, we can open that just right. All right. And Vance is known for sending out some really good goodies. Good stuff. This is a, a listing of some bands that are going to play uh, Saturday, June 29th at the Bottom Lounge. Thank you very much, my brother. And uh, Steve Miller Band, Joe Satriani, little Playbill poster there. Thank you very much. Awesome. And we have some stickers from Reckless Records. Awesome. Love me some stickers. And what I thought was going to be in here, which I was really hoping I was going to win at the uh, contest, but man, dude, you shouldn't have. But I'm glad you did, because I'm digging this stuff. This is the new Mathian record, and this one is titled Darling Television. I can't wait to dive into this one, y'all. Vance, you're a legend, man. Thank you very much. So uh, this is the new Mathian album, and uh, I'm going to be rocking that out a little later on when we're done with this video. Some more stickers. Check that out. A little Bulldog Victory Records. That's kick-ass. Victory Records. Cool. This one goes to 11, y'all. Don't even look at it. it. Don't even touch it. Don't even, don't, no. You can't even look at that one. Spinal Tap. Uh, this is a little bit of a Victory Records. It looks like a little um, merch, a uh, little catalog. You can buy some sweatshirts and some hats and stuff. Can't wait to dive into that. And uh, the old IE, man. Dude, dude, I miss the IE. 
for those of you not in the know, the IE is the Illinois Entertainer. It's not Illinois, y'all. Don't say Illinois. Illinois. This is the Illinois Entertainer. Stone Gossard on the cover. And, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to go to this. What's this place? What's this place called? I'm going to go to that place, too. Thank you, man. I get thanks for the address on that. All right, so VCLT from Vance. Vance, thank you, man. Appreciate it. You know when you have the blue VCLT, you're getting some good stuff. All right, moving right along. Also, the buzz of the VC is Derek Von Higgins' new record called Nice. And congratulations, Derek. I know you're a busy guy. You've got 4,000 million people that, that, that are uh, uh, subscribed to you. And I know watching videos is few and far between because you're busy. But hey, man, congratulations. You just reached 4,000 subscribers. 4,000? Jesus Christmas. But yes, he sent me over a beautiful, and I want to stress, beautiful copy of Derek's Nice. And for all y'all who don't know Derek and you're watching my channel, what's the matter with you? Beautiful yellow vinyl. Mine's a nice flat copy. I played it the other night. It's fucking phenomenal music, guys. So please support Derek. Get his new record nice. Derek, thank you, man, for sending me out a fantastic copy. I really appreciate it. Okay, just diving on in. I pulled a big stack of stuff, and uh, let's, uh, let's do it. This is the church. This is Gold Afternoon Fix. This takes me back. Takes me back to the, uh, to the early 90s. And this one is uh, that uh, was after Reptile. And you can't go wrong with the church. Yesterday and Today, self-titled. This is a motherfucker of a record, y'all. You gotta get this one. If you don't have this, and you like good 70s hard rock, get yourself an original copy of Yesterday and Today, self-titled, later called YMT. Awesome, great drumming. Uh, Eli, NB drummer. If you don't have that one, man, get that one. Great drumming. Fuel, Sunburn. This one's a little hard to come by. I got this a few years back about 2008 before the big vinyl explosion before the vinyl train has left the building it's it's out there y'all vinyl is peaking what do you think I want to know you guys can comment is vinyl peaking in popularity and gonna level off here or is it gonna continue to rise or is it gonna go down is it a fad it's not a fad fad but it's, it seems to be a popular thing now that is fad like so give me your two cents on that Love this record, Fuel. Let me show you the label on this one. Um, it's something like that. Okay, moving right along. Porno for Pyros. Skeeter showed this in, in his last video, but I wanted to show it anyway. This is an OG Porno for Pyros self-titled. This one comes on the pink vinyl. This is not uh, the repress. This is the OG uh, pink vinyl version. Love that record. This is a play on a KTEL record. This is called 20 Explosive Dynamic Super Smash Hit Explosions. Now that's all tongue in cheek, but this has some great music on it uh, by the Pumpkins, uh, the Slugs, the Farmer's Material Issue, uh, No Empathy. This is just basically what it is, the New Duncan Imperials. It is a play on one of these good old KTEL Greatest Hits records. So if you haven't uh, seen this, this is great. It's kind of an homage to 70s hits. Um, the Smashing Pumpkins, they do uh, Jackie Blue. Ooh, 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 Jackie Blue. I think that's how it goes. Howard Stern, one of my favorite personalities of all time. This was his record back in the day. Getting harder to get. This one's still in the shrink. This was 50 Ways to Rank Your Mother. And this one is a um, just basically a comedy record. And it also comes with a poster. I don't want to unveil that now, but it's a poster, I think, just of that. So get yourself some Howard Stern, y'all. I'll take a little time out. Fire's beautiful. Nice, calm night. Beautiful. You guys got to get the fuck out. You got to get out of your living room. Get out of the man cave. Just get the fuck out. Get out. Enjoy the world. There's a world outside of your music room. You can still show vinyl. Check it out the hell moving right along new orders first 
uh, record after Joy Division uh, debacle, if you want to put it in those terms. New Order's Movement. Uh, and this one's a, a great record. I got this at the local record shop in fantastic shape. They got it for like six bucks. I think I have the best record shop around. My record shop is Last Vestige Records. Um, I'll probably insert a picture in here somewhere. Albany, New York, just a record collector's record store. Uh, guys that work there are just record collecting fanatics. They're young dudes and they're just passionate. Uh, I ask them how many records they have around their house. They say that there's no more room in their house. So these guys are like the, uh, uh, the movie um, uh, with uh, John Cusack. It's racking my brain right now, but um, it's the one where he's the record store owner. Uh, I'm thinking almost famous, but it's not. But it's uh, you know what I'm talking about, and how his house is all stacked full of vinyl like that. But uh, any rate, I'll think of it. This goes out to Robert Z. Robert C is a fantastic dude in the VC, and uh, he just uh, sent me out a cool piece of VCLT, which as soon as I get, I will unveil. This is Permanent Waves Sealed Rush, and this is the um, um, uh, original master uh, recording. Um, copy from Mobile Fidelity Records, so that's sealed. I don't even know if I'm going to open that. That's just pure collectability. So Robert, that's for you, and again, thank you very much for sending out uh, the Van Halen record. This is a new copy of the uh, Mad Seasons Above record. This is the reissue. Nothing special here, but uh, just the fact that they reissued it, and I didn't have to spend $120 on the old school version. It seems like everything's being reissued, y'all. All the old stuff, all the good stuff, the 90s stuff's being reissued. Just just take this pace yourselves. Just have patience. It's all going to be reissued, I think. So uh, this is an OG press of Wire, the Pink Flag record. And there's a couple versions of this. This is the OG press on the Yellow Harvest label. Love the Yellow Harvest label in near mint condition. Again, at my local record shop. I also got a version of it with the Black Harvest label from the um, local record shop. This one's a compilation for y'all. Uh, if you like compilations, this is New Age Atlantic. Fantastic cover. And uh, this one goes out to Penix, Rob Penix, and uh, in Vance, of course, because it leads off with Zeppelin. And uh, the Zeppelin song is Hey, Hey, What Can I Do? One of the Zeppelin's great songs. And it features other people by uh, Buffalo Springs, Jay Giles, Dr. Jack Cactus. Uh, so great stuff there. Uh, I guess I skipped this. I uh, should have put this in the, uh, before that. But this is Mad Season Live. This is a live performance in, uh, at the Moore Theater in Seattle on April 29th, 1995. Special guest Mark Lanigan. Okay. This I got from, I think, Italy. Uh, so I went overseas on eBay and got this one. So this is live. Mad Season, and I just saw a video of it on, um, I think it was at the, um, uh, I'm thinking not Velocity, but uh, the Palladia channel. Who grew up in the 70s and remembers S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y, night, Saturday night, y'all, Bay City Rollers. These guys were the, you know, the in sync, the, 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 we're Backstreet Boys, whatever you want to call it, of the 70s. These guys uh, were the shit, and uh, I am not too proud to admit that I was about eight years old, I think, when this came out, eight-ish. And I loved it. All my classmates loved it. The girls loved it. Anyway, moving along. This, I just, I've had this forever, and I just spun it the other night. And I played it three times in a row. I, it blew me away. And uh, this is uh, Simple Minds' New Gold Dream. And this is uh, 81, 82, 83, 84. I guess it's a few uh, uh, greatest hits, I guess. You know, I haven't even researched it, but I played it. And I was just, it was chilling out night. And it was just uh, one of those records where it just kind of sucks you in. And I played it three times in a row. Unbelievable. And this is the version that comes on the, um, the translucent, like, gold and purple marble. And look at the flame. Look at the flame reflecting off that, y'all. That's, that's awesome. 
That's hot. See what happens when you get out of your man cave in your living room? The cinematic scope, the cinematic stuff that takes place. This is apt uh, for the, uh, this is proper vinyl showing for the graveyard. Christine soundtrack. And this was an awesome movie. Uh, if you haven't checked it out. A little heavy metal for y'all. Vicious Rumors. Digital Dictator. What's up, Greeno? LJ? What's up, y'all who like the, uh, the uh, metal? Okay, we got some more metal. This fucking, one of my favorite new... It's an old band, but I'm just getting into them heavy now and listening to them a lot. Sabotage. Love this. For all y'all don't know Sabotage, Power of the Night. Check out some Sabotage, y'all. This one, I believe, is on the beautiful... No, this is the Atlantic label. Some come on that combat label. I love the combat label. I think this one does. Sabotage. The Dungeons Are Calling. Again, this is appropriate for the uh, graveyard tonight. This is an EP... I think it's got like five, six, uh, few songs, I forget, six songs, something like that. And this comes on the beautiful green combat label. Love that label. Another sabotage, y'all. This is the fight for the rock. This one is incredible. You guys got to check yourself out some sabotage. What's this, this on? This is on the regular Atlantic label. Rage. There's a thing, uh, a place on YouTube, uh, eBay. Uh, Mo Music is the uh, the seller's store name, and he sells '80s uh, metal, but sealed. Every record he sells is sealed. So I got a stack of about like that big. I won't show it tonight, but I, I will maybe in another video just show complete sealed metal. This one was one of them. This is Rage. Execution guaranteed. Incredible. This one is um, just a white label. I, I can't even, I'm getting a little bit presbyopic in my uh, 40s here, so getting harder to read in dim light, especially up close, but I'm in denial. No bifocal yet. This one goes out to Greeno. I know he knows this one. Prong, Rude Awakening. And this is a uh, 90s kind of, um, kind of a grungy, rockish kind of thing happening. Smashing Pumpkins, one of my favorite bands. If you guys have been watching me for a little while, you know my uh, my favorite band, Smashing Pumpkins, one of them anyway. Siamese Dream, local shop had this completely sealed. Now again, a question I have, which I tried to research on uh, Discogs and uh, elsewhere, is how do you know if it's peach, maroon, black, whatever vinyl color? Anybody know? Uh, I couldn't figure out even by the uh, the, the numbers. Now, speaking of that, I did get a copy at the shop. Again, same record, but this one I know because it's open. But this one is the... Uh, where are we at here? Uh, I hate when I do this where I pause like this. i got to take it out. Not prepared on this one. This one is the maroon wine-colored marble. And this one is getting harder to come by. So I'm glad to have that for the collection. Anything I can get uh, pumpkins that's like that, that's collectible, I'm going to get. All right, moving right along. Here's another pumpkins. This one is easy to get. They reissued this. This is the, like their basement tapes. And uh, this one is phenomenal. And it's all their first songs that they, uh, that they recorded that they never just released, uh, never released on uh, uh, LPs. This one's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, more of a pinky purple with a little black marbly in there. And it sounds great. And it is what it is because it's off of their, like, demo tapes. So, I mean, it's not hi-fi quality. Oh, all right. Moving right around. Winding down. It's quicker than I thought. Again, highly appropriate for the cemetery graveyard theme. This one's got the, uh, the cover on it, the uh, plastic cover, so I'm going to keep it on. This is Danzig 2. Lucifuge. Oh, this one's getting harder to come by, y'all. You gotta love Danzig. Danzig is um, actually from the uh, upstate Albany area, I uh, believe. I um, have to research that, but I believe he's from this area out here. This on uh, on uh, the uh, Def Def Recordings was that Def Jam or just Def American? At any rate, Danzig two. Here's one that Skeeter showed when he was sacked out at the uh, at the yard uh, after doing yard work. This is the Slayer Show No Mercy. And I was 
lucky to get a very good copy of this at the local shop. This is the stuff that my shop has every week. Uh, phenomenal. I'd say in very good plus condition. And to get this in a very good plus uh, is harder, harder to come by in an OG press. I don't even know if they reissued this, but uh, phenomenal record. This one's for all y'all King Diamond fans. This is King Diamond. And uh, this is Fatal Portrait. Gotta love yourself some King Diamond, y'all. And King Diamond got sued for uh, his facial makeup by none other than Gene Simmons of KISS because he doesn't have enough fucking money. He's got to go suing people about shit like that. But uh, this is on the Roadrunner label. Uh, King Diamond, also of Merciful Fate. For those of y'all don't know that, Merciful Fate, another phenomenal band. Local shop today, y'all. Thumbing through. Let's go to the L section just to see. Normally, I just go to the new arrivals, and I go to the metal section, and uh, then I go to some of the punk stuff. But uh, rarely do I thumb through the actual L's and the M's and stuff. Sometimes you just get that calling, and you want to go ahead and thumb through you haven't thumbed before. And I'm glad I did because I couldn't find one of these on eBay nor Discogs. This is Love and Rockets, and this is uh, the album Lift, featuring a uh, song Holy Fool. It's got the uh, the uh, a little hype sticker on there. This is sealed, y'all. Sealed. You ain't gonna find one of these. I, I don't even know. I, did, I never even knew this album existed. I'm a huge Love and Rockets fan, but not, not that huge because I'm not up on, the, on their uh, newer, newer stuff. I'm more of their old school style stuff. But uh, Love and Rockets, man, check it out. If you find one of these, snack it up, snatch it up because it's, uh, it's uh, not too common. Okay, I'm uh, winding it down. This is the uh, Division Bell by uh, Pink Floyd. Now this has got to be one of the best covers of a Pink Floyd record. Phenomenal. Look at that. And uh, this is a gatefold. And like that. Like that. And it comes on beautiful, which you already know because you've seen LJ's vid. This is on blue. Look at that. Look at the flame shining through that, y'all. I'm the only one in the VC with flames shining through transparent vinyl. The only one. Who else is out there doing this, y'all? Get out of the living room in the man cave. I got flames through records. Number two channel bringing it again. Last and certainly not least, a few of my videos back. I mentioned earlier in the year this guy brought in a impeccable metal collection. And, um, oh, hold on a second. I lost my lighting here. My computer decided to go to sleep. And as I was walking out the door, this, the, the, the guy at the cash counter, the uh, cashier, the guy working behind the counter was thumbing through this guy's box of records that he just brought in. And he's kind of you know, thumbing through them and picking them out. And he and I saw this, just the, I was walking out the door. And I, I'll, I'll tell the story again. I was walking out the door and I saw him hold this up. He's admiring the cover and you know, it's kind of an odd cover, but uh, it's a rare emmer effer of a record. And I just saw this and I knew what it was, or I at least had to inquire. So I came back in and I'm like, is that what I think it is? And he's like, yes, it's this, it's uh, the uh, Virgin Killer by Scorpions. And this is the band cover. And this is, I think, the cover that's on the one that's not banned, something like that. But uh, this is Virgin Killer. So to get this just in the wild is, this is what my record shop in Albany is all about, y'all. This is what they, uh, what they carry, Black RCA label. Not only that, but about, I'd say, a month or two later, in the new arrival bin. It was in the new fucking bin, y'all. Fucking believe it. Another copy, and this is a fucking sealed copy of the Virgin Killer record, sealed in the bin. I think I paid 50 bucks for it. I might have had one of those $20 off stamp cards. So I think I might have got this for 30 bucks. So the vinyl picking, the vinyl digging gods were shining down upon me that day. So not just one copy, just to make sure you know I'm legit here in the Mibber Tube channel. Here they are, both copies, open and sealed forever. So that's that. Winding it down. Don't buy this one yet, because it's going to be reissued. 
I just needed a copy because I'm one of them fools that has to get the OG copy and spend the sil stupid, silly money. But if this isn't one of the greatest covers of all time, maybe Ween's Chocolate and Cheese is up there too along with this uh, type of theme. But this one is... Actually, you know what? Let me show um, one more record before I get to that one because I have said these two sandwiches. Again, at my local shop, they had this. Tool promo undertow gray label and gray vinyl this is how the promo looks for undertow normally it's the red uh, and black cover this is the promo version of undertow phenomenal local record shop okay so here was that cover that I think is the best and one of the coolest bands of the 90s this is Black Crows Amorica okay band cover I mean I don't know why it's not a huge issue just a little fur there no big deal but um, this is going to be reissued y'all so don't go silly and buy it for a hundred dollars like I did but uh, I, I blew the money OG press and this is on white vinyl and um, it's about a very VG plus copy um, a couple of the quieter passages have a little snap and crackles but uh, I was this close to buying a sealed copy on eBay but if you know there's a bunch of sealed copies being sold. Um, that that means the reissue is right around the corner. So hold off for the reissue. It's coming. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that, y'all. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for in, uh, spending some time out in the graveyard with me. Uh, Tim, the Ghost Surf H2O brother, and Vance, thanks for the VCLT. You guys are awesome. And to everybody out there, you take care of yourselves. Until next time, Mibber out. See ya. We got airplanes. I bet you they have a good view of this. Later. <laughs>